Um, so the gut microbiome, I think this may be an obvious one, but it plays a really important role in um, just digest digesting and absorbing nutrients from food as well as fluid. So I think when we think of our GI tract or our, our gut microbiome, that's often the first thing that we think of. Um, but the gut microbiome also plays a really important role in regulating the immune system. And you may have talked about this in some of your, your previous sessions, but to reiterate, it's estimated that about 70% of um, our immune cells are found within the lining of the gut. So about 70% of the immune system um, falls within the gut and the bacteria in the gut are very closely in the, uh, involved with the regulation of the immune system. Um, and for that reason, gut bacteria and the gut microbiome play a really important role in regulating inflammation. So sending out inflammatory messengers or anti-inflammatory messengers into the body. Um, the bacteria in the gut are also uh, really, the, they play a key role in the production of important vitamins and, and minerals that are, are needed for uh, various functions in the body. Um, the bacteria in the gut actually play a role in balancing hormones. Some specific ones are things like insulin, so the regulation of blood sugar, as well as um, estrogen, so things like sex hormones. Um, the gut bacteria play an important role in producing neurotransmitters, so things that play a key role in um, supporting our, our mental health, if you've heard of the, the gut-brain connection. And uh, lastly, and, and the list could go on and on, but lastly, uh, I wanted to mention that the bacteria in the gut and specifically um, the gut lining is a protective barrier. So it actually prevents the entrance of harmful substances into the body when it's functioning optimally. So the, the gut microbiota or the gut microbiome as a whole um, plays a really important role in the maintenance of our health, as you can see by all of the different responsibilities that it has. Um, and it also plays an important role in the uh, the pathogenesis or the development of disease. So if the composition um, of the, the gut microbiota or the balance of bacteria in the gut is disturbed or there's disruptions to the gut barrier function or the gut lining, um, that's where symptoms can start to arise as well as an increased risk for a variety of diseases. 